Obviously, the, the big move up to the main card, right? I mean, uh, uh, yeah. huge, huge event. I mean, I, I, look, I know you've been around and had fights, but still, does that is that like an honor to you? Does that mean something to be on the main card of a big pay-per-view like this? Yeah, it's pretty cool, honestly, but uh, I, I wouldn't – it's it's really awesome, right? I don't want to downplay it all. It's really awesome, but I honestly don't care where I fight on the card. Um, if, if I'm honest, I'd like to fight earlier because then I get over with, you know what I mean? Uh, now I have to waste the whole day. I'm fighting at 10, 10 p.m. instead of, uh, what, 6.30? So that's the only thing that kind of sucks about it, but I'm stoked for it, honestly, and I'm super appreciative, and, and I'm glad I'm there, and I'm going to do what I got to do. Well, I was going to say, I guess you said it doesn't matter to you, but I, I, when I saw the lineup, I mean, was there any part of you that was like, what are we doing all the way down here? Like, this is a pretty pretty good fight. I mean, no, not really. I feel like everyone else is more concerned with that than I was, because, like I said, I'm like, I don't care. I'm on the card fighting, right? I'm, I'm there to just kick someone's ass, so it doesn't matter where you put me. I'm going to do what I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Talk about Mark as an opponent. I mean, we know his wrestling background. Uh, I'm assuming that you think he's going to be a wrestling-heavy strategy. But do you think, like, the move to fight ready, you know, there's been enough time to evolve or to change, and maybe you got to expect some different wrinkles in the game, or is this, I'm just getting ready for a wrestler? I'm getting ready for a wrestling match. He's, he's not going to strike with me much. Uh, I'm expecting him just to wrestle me the whole time, and that's what I prepared for in the camp, right? Like, my I've still worked on my striking, and working on my strengths, but... I'm, I've really worked on my defensive wrestling and especially Greco, and I have actually some guys in the gym who are spitting images of him, honestly, and that are his level of, of Greco. So I'm really confident in this fight. Obviously, he is an Olympian, so I mean, if he's only going to wrestle, he's pretty pretty good at it, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was going to say, so do you, I mean, do you see anything like in his game that, like, yeah, he really, I mean, that's a challenge that be out wrestled, or do you feel like, no, it's just an, another guy that wrestles in mixed martial arts? Uh, it's definitely going to be a challenge, right? I'm not going to I'm not going to say that it's not going to be challenging and the fight's going to be easy because it's not. But uh, I, I just have a lot of I just have a lot of confidence in, in my defensive wrestling and my skills. And who knows, I might wrestle fuck him in the fight. I thought it was funny because I thought he was kind of complimenting you when I interviewed him. And he said that you two guys are the strongest guy in the division. You were like, you know, he's not even close to me. Like why did it was like I thought he was complimenting you. It, looked, it seemed like you took it as an insult. No, I don't, I don't know. I just I just thought it was funny, but I don't know. I was I erased it because then I was like, oh, you're just being an asshole right now. You're being petty, but. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I was just being petty, so I just erased it, I guess. But I don't know. At, at first, I was like, at first, I was like, yeah, you're not. You, you might be strong, but you've never felt the kind of strength that I have, right? And and everyone of everyone that I fought, you could talk to them and ask them how strong I am, right? Like I didn't realize how strong I was until people were telling me. Uh, like uh, I would say, uh, if this is okay, I have I have that kind of retard strength that really knows no limits, right? And and my strength lasts too, so. Um, I don't know. I, I, at first, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see who's stronger right in the fight. And then at the same time, I was being a paid little bitch, and I said what I said. So. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I guess last thing for me, I mean, how do you see this fight playing out? Because I think a lot of us are expecting this to be a kind of grinding, you know, difficult fight for, for both guys. I mean, it's going to be a, a battle. Do you see it as that, or do you feel like this is a fight you could go in and get some kind of quick finish? Um, I mean, I definitely feel like I can get a quick finish. He does. He's, he's going to definitely eat some shots, right? Um, but uh, I, I don't think it's going to be, I think it's going to be, I think the first, I'm expecting the first round to be like a little Caesar's pizza, man. We're going to be hot and ready. We're just going to come out there and, and start firing, right? And so uh, that's what I'm expecting. But after that, he, he's, my gas tank is going gonna, is gonna to take him out. And I don't, I don't see him having much more for me after that first round. Tell me you have a little Caesar sponsorship and you just work that in so swiftly. I didn't. It's just something I've been saying lately because it's just really funny. It makes me laugh. It makes me laugh at my own shit, right? So I just been saying, and the guys love it too. Vince over here. Do you feel like your your ability to turn these into dog fights can frustrate him? Like, he, yeah, he might be able to take you down, but your ability to get back up and make things ugly. Do you think how much of an advantage do you think that'll be in this fight? I think that's the biggest advantage in the fight, honestly, because. Uh, I don't, I don't, to this day, I don't really know anyone that can hold me down if I want to get up, right? And, and if I am being held down, I get pissed off, and, and I just pull out that rage, and then I get up. So, like I said, I don't, I don't really know anyone that's going to hold me down that, that will keep me down there. If I want to get up, I'm going to get up. And I think that's going to be a, uh, a very harsh reality for him if, if that's what his game plan is, which I'm sure it is. Speaking of pissed off and rage, I saw an interview you oh, did recently. You <laughs> a clip got out, <laughs> and you're getting a little upset behind the wheel at a fellow driver, and I assume there are probably other instances of this. Are there uh, any other good stories you could share that stand out to you where a driver, to put it lightly, was not on your good side? Yeah, I mean, I guess I could say I have a little bit of road rage uh, when I'm behind my car when there's idiots around, which there's a lot. I feel like I'm... Um, I love Denver, but people out there drive like they got nowhere to fucking be, and it's really annoying to me sometimes. And uh, yeah, that rage meter just gets filled pretty quick. But if you want to hear a funny story about that, that was actually, in that, in that same interview, I had two road rage incidents. 
So right after that first guy I chewed out, or who, who actually, that guy initiated with me, right? Like I was honking at him and I just went around him, I was gonna say shit, and then he pulled next to me. But uh, so, you know, I, mean, I just had to verbally abuse him a little bit, but down the road, some other idiot was trying not to let me in, in in a forced merge lane, so I had to literally throw some other car off the side of the road, right? Like just punk them, because I have a, dude, I drive a 2500 Sierra HD and it's lifted as shit, it's 10 inches big, right? Like, guess how small my dick is, right? Because this truck's so big, but <laughs> like some little, some little fucker in like a Ford Escape tries to like bully me, right? And I'm like, what are you doing? And I just kind of, you know, jerk him off and they almost went on the onside of the traffic. And if you watch the interview later, you'll see it. And then I laugh because the car is literally like 10 car lengths behind me after that. Like they wanted nothing to be near me. Do you but regret that at all or? No, fuck them. <laughs> People are idiots sometimes and they just need to be told they're idiots, you know, because they forget, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> did you say you jerked him off? Right? Oh yeah, I did say that, didn't I? Shit. <laughs> I jerked, no, <laughs> I bullied him, I bullied him off the road, I'll say that, <laughs> let's, let's adjust. Last thing to change the subject from that, um, what does a win do for you here? Are, are we talking top 15, are we talking a guy with the number next to his name, what, what does a win over Mark on Saturday do for your career? It gives me someone else to beat up at, at, in a higher level, you know. Uh, th this is a big opportunity for me, I had the opportunity before with Gregor Gillespie and I kind of fell short on that one. And so uh, I've really, I've really uh, dedicated my life, my, myself mentally and physically for this because I'm not gonna, I'm not fucking up this opportunity, right? But after this fight, um, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not really thinking ahead of Madsen, but I'm assuming that this is gonna, this is gonna be my opportunity where I go for that title run, right? Where I, where I climb that top ten and do what, I, do what I've wanted to do. Is that it? Sweet. Hey, boys.